Today, I'm going to make a Mexican style beef soup called caldo de res in the crock pot. This is going to be easy and so good. Okay, so today I'm making beef caldo or caldo de res, which is a Mexican style beef soup. My local grocery store has these kind of like pre prepped packs for beef soup or stew, and that's what I'm using. This is somewhere between a pound and a half to two pounds of probably beef chuck roast or stew meat. This is just a combination of uh, pieces of fresh ears of corn that are chopped up, carrot, cabbage, celery, and a couple of red potatoes. I have some extra potatoes I'm gonna toss into the crock pot. And here I have fresh onion, garlic, one bay leaf, extra carrot. I also purchased a, a small head of cabbage because I like extra cabbage in, in my uh, caldo. Um, this is somewhere between three and a half to four cups of beef broth. You could also use water mixed with some beef bouillon powder to taste. Either way, I'm gonna try to make it simple, but super good, and it's going in the crock pot. Okay, so I'm working with a six quart crock pot. I'm gonna start with my beef. And I'm gonna season with granulated onion powder. Try not to make a mess. Granulated garlic powder. I'm gonna go for like a mm, teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. I'm gonna to toss the bay leaf in there. Here I have three cloves of fresh garlic that I just roughly chopped. I chopped my small onion. Now I'm gonna add my cabbage that I purchased and chopped, and I cut it in large chunks. Now, if you are not a fan of mushy vegetables, you might have a hard time with this recipe because some of the vegetables are gonna break down and get mushy, but I don't mind it. I actually love that when I make caldo. Okay, so there's the cabbage. Here's the rest of the vegetables, and I added a couple of gold potatoes. And like I said, there's carrots, celery, onion, little pieces of corn, this is fresh corn, and potatoes. Just, you want it to be flavorful and aromatic. So this is gonna be stuffed. But I'm going to add, this was two cans, two 14.5 ounce cans of beef broth. And we'll start with that. Okay, I'm gonna set this to high, and I'm gonna let this cook over the course of like four to five hours or until everything is cooked through, the meat is tender, and it's very brothy. I might, if I need to, add more water and add salt to taste, but I'm just gonna let this cook and let it go for four hours before I check it, and then maybe an extra hour. One more thing that I wanna add is cilantro. This is actually dried cilantro. So uh, if you have fresh, use that. And if you don't like cilantro, then, you know, leave that out. But I'm gonna just sprinkle it a little bit on top. And that'll work. Okay, so everything is cooking. And I wanted to mention two things. I did add two extra cups of beef broth. So in all, around six cups of beef broth into the crock pot. Also, always season and add salt to your preference, which I'll do before it's done. And another thing, I did say this earlier, if you don't prefer mushy veggies, then maybe you could stagger the time that you put them in the crock pot. Now, if you're doing a dump and go crock pot recipe, which is very convenient and why I like this recipe, then your veggies will be on the mushier side. And this might not be the recipe for you, but I do have a stovetop version for beef caldo if you prefer that. Um, and you can sort of control uh, the texture of your vegetables better if you do it on the stovetop. So anyways, this is almost done. It smells so good. Okay. So, oh, this smells so good. It has been close to four and a half hours. I, definitely the beef is tender. It did render natural juices. So all you want to do at around four hours of cook time is, you know, 
taste it for salt and seasoning. Um, let's see. Yeah, the beef is tender. And so are the potatoes. And so are the carrots. So I do think it needs a little more salt. I, but like I said, you'll want to taste everything. Give that a mix. And then serve a bowl. It's going to be good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.